Today I'd like to demonstrate a way of covering boards that almost eliminates the chances of them warping. Boards warp because when the covering materials are glued out, the material absorbs moisture from the adhesive and stretches. It gets larger, it's applied to the boards, and when the material dries, it shrinks again and it pulls on the board, causing the boards to warp. The usual solution is to balance the pull, have a material on the inside and the outside that pull in equal amounts. The method that I'm going to demonstrate is to drum the materials onto the boards. That is, attach the materials at the periphery around the edges. By not gluing out the entirety of the covering material, you almost entirely eliminate the stretch and then subsequent pull. Drumming on is often associated with silk end papers, but for the entire history of the codex form of the book, drumming of materials has been used here and there for different reasons. Most recently, Gary Frost popularised drumming on with his sewn board bindings. And I use that in the videos that I've done on the sewn board bindings as well. In this video, I'm making it a bit simpler by making a pair of independent boards that could be used for a Coptic sewn journal. To use this technique on a board that only has three turn-ins, it's simply a matter of putting a line of adhesive underneath the paper on the fourth edge, similar to what we'll do for the paste down on these boards. Another feature of the boards with the drummed on covering materials is that they can have a, a little pillowy feel to them, a softness to them, which a lot of people find quite pleasing. The covering materials that I'll be using lie very flat. You would be very hard pressed to tell the difference between these boards and boards that have been fully applied with adhesive. As is common with these Coptic sewn journals, I've cut the boards so that there's no square at the head and tail and a small square at the foredge. The paste down is just going to have a 3mm margin around the outside and that'll be the first paper that I'll cut. So I'll take 6mm off the dimensions of the boards. I just grabbed some paper out of my leftover paper box and decided for craft paper for the paste down and some paste paper for the outside covers. Craft paper wasn't the best choice for the paste downs. Craft paper is strong, but it is quite absorbent. So it will stretch at the margins where I apply the adhesive. This will contribute very little pull towards the boards, so that's not an issue. It just means that I'm in danger of getting wrinkles at the edges, at the head and tail, when I paste out the paper and put it on the board. Now I just grabbed a piece of paste paper out of the box and I assumed it was going to be much larger than I needed. It turned out to be just slightly smaller than I wanted. So by just cutting it in half, I'll end up with slightly smaller turn-ins than I had planned. But I had planned to do 20mm turn-ins. So the paste paper would have been 20 millimeters larger in each direction, or 40 millimeters, I guess, in width and height larger than the boards. I'll position the boards on the cover paper so that there's equal turn-ins, and then I'll trace a line around the boards. Then I can trim the corners at 45 degrees, one and a half board thicknesses away from the corner which is three millimeters in this case because I'm using roughly two millimeter board. I'm marking the paper and board so I know which go together and I'll add arrows later to make sure I keep them in the right orientation. These don't have to be exactly 45 degrees. A few degrees either way is fine so I'm just judging these by eye.
I'll start by turning in the head or the tail. So I position the board exactly over the outline and then I'll glue out the turn in and then I'll use a bone folder to draw that over onto the board and then attach that firmly, nip down the corners and then flip the board around and do the other end. I would normally remove the waste before doing the turn in however that would disturb the positioning and it's easy enough to lift up the turn in with the bone folder without getting adhesive on it. Once I've done the head and tail I'll do the long edges. We notice I'm being a bit tricky every time I glue up a turn in I'm moving slightly to the left so I avoid the, the glue on the waste sheet. So there's no adhesive at all on the outside of the boards. There may be a small amount of pull from the turn ins at the head and tail but it's quite desirable to have a slight inward pull on boards. Just slight that is. And that's all you would get from the turn ins. Now the inside board paper or paste down doesn't have turn-ins obviously. So in this case we'll just apply adhesive around the edges of the paper. Now just because it's craft paper I've gone to mix because I want a wetter adhesive. The craft paper will pull the moisture out of the adhesive so fast that PVA will dry before I have a chance to apply it to the board. So here's the finished boards. It's almost impossible to tell that the cover materials have been drummed on. The boards have an ever so slight inward warp due to the pull of the turn ends at the head and tail. I think these boards will work really well and I'll use them in a project in the future showing a variation on the sewing of a Coptic sewing journal. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. As always, I really appreciate you hitting the big thumbs up button. If you're able to and would like to, you can support me on Patreon and the details are in the description below. If you want to be notified of my future videos, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. Until next time, cheerio.